What do you do when you face a block in your writing? So last time I mentioned how I always try to keep working on a section of writing until it's done. And I don't switch to working on something else if I face a problem. I stick with it until I find a solution. And by doing this consistently, I've learned how to solve most problems that arise. I don't need to write as fast as I can. I don't need to produce endless drafts. I can figure it out in the moment, and my first drafts are usually pretty good. So in this video, I'm going to introduce some of the ways I go about this kind of problem solving in writing. So first, I always start at the beginning. Some say that you should write the introduction last, but I always do it first to establish what the piece is about. If you don't know what it's about, that's the problem you need to solve first, because it's only once you've made that decision that you can make others. Otherwise, you're just dumping information on the page for no reason, and leaving the decision till the end means you then have to re-edit everything. So then, having started, I then try to work through the document, writing in the order in which it will be read. This means I always have an unbroken chain from the very first word up to wherever I am now. And I never have to decide what to work on. I just have to find a way to link what I've already said to what I want to say next in a way that makes sense. So the metaphor I use to describe this process is that it's kind of like digging a tunnel through a mountain. So I have to start at one end and I can only dig at the rock face in front of me. And this gives me a clear point of focus and massively reduces the amount that I have to think about at any one time. But what happens if I get stuck? Well, I have a few options. The first is to just slow down and think, to give myself a chance to find the right words. But if that doesn't work, maybe the idea that I want to express doesn't fit here. Perhaps it needs to go somewhere earlier, in which case I will go back and find a place for it. Kind of like reinforcing part of the tunnel that I've already dug. But perhaps, I need to save it for later, in which case I make a note of it. I do not start writing another section, and I just tell myself, it's okay, I'll deal with that later. Option number three is to just leave it out. Very often, this is the best option. If I leave it out, I then have to think about what to say instead, but often the writing just starts to flow again if I just cut the idea that I was struggling with. But then, sometimes, I'll find that it's not the current idea that needs to go, but the previous paragraph needs to be deleted. So what I'll do is I'll run through these options quite quickly, mentally visualizing how they might affect the overall argument. But if I'm really stuck, what I'll do is I'll go back to the start and just read what I've got so far. And this takes some of the pressure off and often helps me to make a decision while also allowing me to do some quick editing if needed. Or if I'm still stuck, I'll get outside and take a walk. Again, just giving myself some time to think. But then how do I know what's the right choice? How do I know whether to delete an idea, save it for later, or go back and place it somewhere earlier? Now, partly this relies on just the confidence to take that risk, but it also relies on an understanding of structure and how ideas naturally link together, which I'll cover in the next video. But if you like this one, check out the one on how to cope with writer's block, where I talk about this from a couple of different angles. And also, please do share these videos with other people who you think might need them. So that's all from me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.